Hi there, I'm John Leach, and you're watching Arc Fishing. Alright, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to drill up this top rivet, this top rivet, peel off, I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to put these bolts with the rock washer nuts on here so much strong. I don't like pop rivets. Look at that. I'm going to fix that. I'm going to drill these out. I have to be careful I don't go too far though. <laughs> Well, I'm going to show you a cool little trick my friend Brent taught me. So I have one of those screws. I'm going to paint the heads of them black so they match the... Um, so I'm going to use... It's technically tripping bummer paint, but it's black. Um, let me shake this up. I'm going to paint the heads of the screws and switch them out with the other ones in there so they match. They don't, they don't stick like sore thumb, but they match the uh, that black hatch. <clears throat> if I can get this thing open. Uh, difficult. Okay, now on to the rear hatch. We turn this camera on. better that's what the shit done from factory man then the steel bolts nuts washer and lock washers or lock nut one or the other oh that's way better that would be much happier all right what we're gonna do next take those screws out and put the black ones in that i painted now we're gonna do the rear hatch much larger diameter. Hopefully this will go a whole lot quicker and easier. It's pretty cool. This one came with hardware. Check that out. The other one, the front one didn't. This one did. It came with scupper plugs, which is cool too, but I already have scupper plugs. Here's one right here. Green, I bought those. No power. But it's nice to have backups. You know what? I can keep these on the kayak as emergency backups. So let's, ooh, I can use this bag too. Definitely use this. Cool. Put this over here for now. That's the trash. Okay. What's really cool about this one? It's trash. This one comes with a red bag, which is optional. I can always take that out. This has got a latch. 
latch. Really cool. I'm gonna take this out for now because I know I had, I had this out already. I know it comes out. I know it comes out. I already had it out. Come on, I know this thing comes out. Get this thing out already. I know for a fact it comes out. There you go. <laughs> I know I had that out already. All right, you need that out. I'm gonna put it this way. So I can just turn around and open it up like that. So, the fun part is going to be chasing that hole. Hmm. Yeah, what's this one? An 8 inch diameter, I think? Let me measure this quick. Tooth. Electrical, electric wire. No, this is six inch. Okay, so front one's four and a half inch. This is a six inch diameter. But this one I'm gonna use a jigsaw on. I think it'll go a whole lot quicker and easier. I feel I'll drill a big hole in the middle and then take a jigsaw, go in a circle. I think it'll work a lot faster and easier. Anyway, I'll use a jumble tool. I mean, I'll use a jumble tool to sand it, but not to cut it. Part that sucks. I don't think I'll be able to. Where's that marker at? All right, so in the house got a whole bunch of markers, but I wanted to fine tip one because the one I have up front was actually too thick. I want one that's. There we go. I think it'll work. <laughs> okay. I think this will work. We'll see. Did it work? Yeah. Uh, keep off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill a big hole, alright, drill a bit dead center, and then we'll jigsaw it, I'll be careful, I don't go too crazy here. I'm going to hit the bottom of the kayak, that wouldn't be good. So here comes the fun, tricky, tedious part. Side, but that's okay. I'm gonna do a little trimming first, and I can probably. Yeah. I want to be a really 
really snug, tight fit. I want, I want it in there loose. I want it nice and snug. Like that. Bingo. That's what I want. That's freaking awesome. What's interesting is this rear one came with a gasket. The front one didn't. The rear one came with screws. The front one didn't. I'm not complaining. It's just weird. All right, I'm gonna trim this up. This is done, but I want to trim it, make it look nice. Okay, that is awesome. All right, put this gasket back on there. Oh, what the heck? Just about to drill a hole through the gaskets too, then, huh? Interesting. go. Well, that's freaking awesome. All right. Now that we have it, now it's got to drill the holes. Here's the screws. Where's the screws at? Right here. Okay. All right. Let me get the drill. Oh, it's toasty on me. You know what? I'm gonna take the jacket. That two kerosene here is gone. And thankfully, it's super toasty one in here. Close my eyes when I did that. Dirt in there, man. Right side screwdriver for these screws. I'm only starting to like the way this kayak's turning out. Sure I have the right. Make sure these edge around too, but right now I just want to get installed. Installed. And then, oh, the fact that this one came with a rubber gasket. I must have bought two different brands. This is so awesome. With this kayak doing stuff, we're going. I can't wait for kayak fishing season. It was 38 degrees out, 36 degrees a high day with wind. Middle of January. See what the low is tonight. Probably below freezing. I can wait for 80 degree weather. Doing this part by hand because that's plastic. I don't want to crack it. Use a power drill. Put these screws in, you can first crack in the plastic. That's what I don't want.
goodness, if any water splashes up in here, I'm not worried about getting in there because it's got a gasket, which is fantastic. I love the way this one's designed. All right. Love this feature too. That's awesome. Now, put this back in there. This is optional. I don't know if I want to keep the bag in there. For now, I'm going to the bag in here. I might decide to take it out at some point. There we go. I mean, I could put my rain gear, maybe. Yeah, I could put my raincoat in there. I fold them up real tight, my rain pants. I could put other stuff in there. That's so awesome, man. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it.